Hey guys, um, Stu Hill here from Chem Digital. Today we are looking at um, how to put together a WordPress IDX real estate website uh, yourself that you could build in an afternoon. Um, it's not rocket science what we do, and there's a level of transparency to um, the, the work process to, that goes um, into building a real estate website. But yeah, in, if you break things down to the most simplest form, um, any website is just a header, a footer, and a bit in the middle. Um, deciding what to do with those three areas, such as um, pages, um, what you want to feature on there, um, and uh, you know, how much depth in, in content you want to go into would um, would vary the design. Um, with a real estate website, you've got some standard benchmarks. So one of the things that we tell every client is if you look at Realtor.com, Redfin, Trulia, Zillow, Compass, um, to name a few, Caldwell Banker, Keller Williams, um, on the agency side of things um, as well, um, you'll notice that they all look exactly the same. So big search box in the middle, uh, sorry, search box in the middle, uh, big picture in the background, um, and buy, sell, rent, mortgage, whatever it is, and off you go. So to build a website yourself, using one of the IDX plugins so that you've got a um, uh, you've, you've got home search functionality on the website. Um, you can even add home valuation to that as well. Um, it's pretty straightforward um, if you've got a um, clear idea of how you want to build that site. So let's say, you know, header foot a bit in the middle. Talk about the header, you want your logo, you want the names of the pages. So typically we'll use home about home search, home valuation, communities. So we'll create some saved searches in the communities. Um, with clients, we start off with like six of those and you can build those out um, for SEO purposes and, and otherwise as you move forward. Um, then of course, a contact page. So that takes care of your header and your menu. Um, you just need a logo to drop up in there. As far as the midsection goes, um, typically it's a big picture in the background, a search box in the middle, and then some listings that you would display um, within that middle section. Um, and then in the footer, uh, kind of similar to the header, you're going to have your logo again, uh, some menu links, maybe a sign up for a newsletter, um, social media links, and, and that's kind of the, the standard format. If you look at um, realtor.com, Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, you know, bring them up side by side in this blog article, I've um, put some screenshots of them there. You'll notice that they're pretty much identical. And I tell every client that we have these guys have spent hundreds of millions of dollars between them figuring out what a real estate website needs to look and function um, uh, in order to generate leads. And these guys are lead generation companies, whether they're portals generating leads and selling them to the agents or real estate brokerages generating leads and passing them to brokerages uh, to agents in exchange for um, the commission split. Either way, you're essentially, um, you know, a lead generation company. The purpose of the website is lead generation. Consumers are used to being on these portal sites and you deviating from um, the optimization um, for conversions that these guys have, you know, spent their um, uh, majority of their R&D budgets on, uh, on figuring out then um, you, you're just not going to perform as well. So taking these as the benchmark is really the recommendation um, that I would give to anybody looking to create a real estate website for themselves. Um, it certainly makes an easy start so that you could put something like this together in an afternoon. Um, in this article, I have explained the step-by-step -step process of um, picking an IDX provider, choosing a hosting provider, um, launching a, a standard WordPress um, installation, uh, adding a theme um, to that that uh, you know quickly sort of you know puts that layout into place for you with with formatting and what have you, um, and guides you through the process of adding the IDX plugin um, and dropping the short codes that are required into there. Um, obviously, our clients pay for the 20 years of experience that we have in building real estate websites, and that's the value add that we bring to the table. You know, yes, we can do this um, very quickly. Yes, we can get you up and running very quickly. Um, we do build sites that our clients own. Um, so uh, whether whether we do this setup for you or whether you take it on yourself, um, the net result is that you'll end up owning the real estate website. It's an asset to your business and something that you can grow with um, on and into the future. Um, if you have any questions at the bottom of this article, I uh, have included a form um, or you can click the free consultation button 
um, at the top of our website in the header, um, schedule a consultation with my team and we'll take care of you um, as far as answering any questions or giving you some pointers along the way. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, you can leave it in the comments on YouTube or the comments on the blog article, but uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you and uh, best of luck building your real estate website.